Hello, podcast family. How have you been doing? It's been a minute since the last time I actually recorded an episode for the podcast specifically. If you're new here, hi, welcome. I am Jolie De Matthew, your host. And I missed recording an audio episode because a couple of weeks ago, I know actually about two months ago, I started recording the podcast video you know, I started having a video podcast because I wanted to just optimize my productivity and have content distributed on all platforms. So what I will do is I will record a video podcast, then have it, you know, transcribed for a blog or a LinkedIn article, then repurpose the audio on the podcast and the video will go on YouTube and then the whole thing will be streamed into short for the YouTube short, the Instagram, TikTok, Pinterest and all the things. Because you know, the girl is trying to be everywhere to really be like repurposing the content after reading Gary Vaynerchuk new book, I'm like, ah, I need to up my game. But in doing so, I actually missed, you know, I've kind of neglected, I'm not really neglected, but I stopped recording audio podcasts. I started recording, I stopped recording audio episodes only, and I missed doing that so much. So I'm ju- I just said, you know what, I'm just going to do one. That wasn't really prepared because I wanted to share with you in real time what's going on. And this has been my mind for the past couple of weeks to come up with a more, with a segment of the, of the show. That's really all about sharing with you what's happening in real time. The mindset shift that I'm having, the aha moments, the things which I'm experiencing, you know, behind the scenes as I'm growing this company to seven figure and multiple seven figure and eventually eight figure and helping our company, uh, helping our client grow as well. And just navigating the challenges as the economy is shifting, as the marketing landscape is evolving, really share with you in real time how that looks like for me personally. Uh, so that we can actually connect at, the, at a deeper level. So we're still going to have our very tactical and, you know, strategical episode every single week. But I really wanted to add a bit of flavor and a bit of diversity to the type of content we're going to have in this new season of new season of the podcast, where it's going to be a bit more about me. So you can expect to have this type of episode to be completely unfiltered, unedited, uncut, because <laughs> it's just going to come across as I'm recording them, you know, just, you know. So, yeah, in today's one, I really wanted to share with you what's going to be required or how I'm actually navigating showing up and gaining visibility and growing a company in the middle of uncertainty. I think we can, if you are, if you know, I know this podcast is actually been listened by, I'm already a business owner in the online space. And so I know you might have felt, you might have felt the challenge of, okay, how do I keep on uh, showing up? How do I keep on growing this company if I feel like the economy is contracting? And for me, I really want to share with you in this episode what, what has worked for me to get my head clear, to keep on taking action, and to just keep on showing up consistently to drive the business forward. Now, there's no denying that we live in a very interesting economy, and it has presented a lot of challenges for several business owners. I speak every single week with probably anywhere from 30 to 50, sometimes even, you know, upward of 60 70 business owner that either we get on calls with or that are already clients that are, you know on our one on ones and one common thing which i can see across the board and even when i look at people that i'm on in mastermind with is really that feeling of okay the business is not growing as fast as it used to and we're not making sales as you know sales velocity is really low and clients are taking you know post are taking more time to purchase what's happening and they say general consensus that it it now in today's economy there's more required to be done in order to get results that we used to be able to get really quickly like if you started your business or if you started scaling your company in 2020 you know there's a massive difference between how easy it was back then compared to now to actually close the client so how do you actually navigate the uncertainty as a business owner you have payroll to hit you have to lead and have be clear on the vision you have to create content and you have to manage your balance with your family how do you manage it all how am i doing it in this season specifically is the first and for, first thing for me is really working on my mindset that has been super helpful because you know some days you just wake up and you're like ah oh god i you know it's like you don't really it's not, you don't always wake up feeling like hyped and motivated and ready to go and so I really have to make a conscious effort now to really work on my mindset and really be sure that you know, what I'm working up, journaling, my gratitude exercises, uh, you know, vision, looking at my vision board, really those things help me be in a grateful state that allow me to perform better. Also, listening to amazing audiobook about our mindset has been super helpful for me. And um, that, that, so working on my mindset is definitely one of, one of the biggest things which I would say because ultimately, 
whatever you focus on expand and if you spend so much time worrying and just overthinking about what might happen you know three or six months from now it kind of paralyzes you and it makes you feel like you are hopeless that you can't do anything or if you spend a lot of time consuming information that tells you that and no one is buying and people are closing business and uh, the economy is just like at the worst those things those type of um of content are going to lead you to feel like you need to shrink you need to contract and there's no point in trying on the other hand if you surround yourself with people that actually still winning and still growing the company and you work on your mind and believing that you can also make it happen if you are trying to do the right take the right action consistently you see a mindset shift and you see actually an energy shift in the way in which you show up and the way in which you actually serve your community and your client, which is key in this season. So that's one thing for me, like really working on my mindset and taking a very, very uh, intentional approach to what I consume to make the, so that I'm actually um, making the right decision and moving forward every single day. The second thing which I'm working, which I'm being intentional about in this season is really my marketing. Increasing invisibility is very, very, very important. And you, 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 it's going to be hard to actually show up consistently if you don't have the first piece right, because you need to be in a place where you, you have your cup feel so that you can pour back into your audience, into your client, into your team, right? So that's why working on your mindset and building yourself up, it's very important. Like this is not the time to cut on your mentorship programs or cut on your coaches if those are providing you with the helpful resources and it supportive community to move forward i think sometimes when we are in the market and in an, a shrinking economy we think okay let me save on those on anything and everything <laughs> and in the in the process we actually end up cutting the right things you know i'm gonna i can make another, another episode on the things that you actually want to prioritize to further grow in a shrinking economy in a challenging economy like the one that you're currently going through but i think the my the mentorship coaches your mastermind your community is key because then you are with the peer group of people that are actually winning and thriving hopefully that supports you encourage you and challenges to show up as your higher self so that's key and so second is your marketing right you need this is not the time to just hide in the shadows and stop promoting yourself stop creating content stop sharing your message your voice uh, because that's really what's going to attract the right audience to you and that's what's going to build trust People are still buying, people are still going on vacation, they are still um, organizing parties, they're still treating themselves to nice things, right? And so no matter what you sell, now it's, not a, now it's really not a, a time to hide and to lose, you know, to be less confident. Now is the time to actually show up and go full, full out. Because your, mind, your prospects are more discerning, yet, yes, so they want to be working with someone that actually care. And one way to show a prospect that you actually care it's actually it's by showing up consistently. If you show up consistently, they're like, okay, I can rely on her being here every single day or having a, an episode every single week. Right? So you build trust with them and you allow them to actually uh, get closer to you by doing that. So that's key. Marketing visibility, that's not the time to cut on your marketing spend. It's not the time to be like, oh my God, I'm going to stop running ads. I'm going to stop uh, promoting myself because what's the matter nope you want to really look at your analytic and thinking what the things that drive to growth and how can i optimize what i'm already doing how because the truth is the biggest company actually have a surge in profit or the best company actually have a surge in profit and growth during challenging time because they have become way more aware in terms of how to allocate their resources when it comes to getting to the, the, the next level and you you not you can't grow by playing on defense right if you actually want to grow you need to play on offense and be very and play to win you, most business owner now are playing not to lose which where like they do the bare minimum they second guess themselves they shop once in a while they don't do whatever is required to win and in this economy what's gonna help you and that's what i've realized is that you have to be willing to do what other aren't willing to do and you have to be willing to um and i know if you've been if you listen to this post but you're probably already doing that but you need to just be more i think managing your mind is going to be it's going to play a role because if you were using to get like let's say that you were using to to spend a thousand dollar or two thousand dollars on, on marketing and get you know ten thousand dollars on the back end like five x how i return now it might be the time where you spend either two thousand dollar marketing still but you create more content on the back end or you might need to spend around three thousand dollars on marketing or thirty five or four thousand dollars on marketing to get the same ten thousand on the back end that's just an example so that you see what i mean right because people are it's taking a longer time frame 
for people to buy in so that in no one do your projection so marketing is key don't cut on marketing because that's what allows you to gain that visibility and that allows your offer your message your brand to be seen by people that can actually work with you as business owner your invisibility is your biggest enemy you don't want to be invisible right and the third thing that i'm really working on to keep me healthy and sane in this crazy time is really uh, dialing in my vision be really clear on my vision and what i'm trying to build because sometimes it's really easy to get sidetracked and to feel like there's no point in you know doing the work when we feel like when we forget what our vision is right for me it's like, okay what do i want to be in five years how do i want this business to look like in 10 years 15 years from now and stepping back into okay is what i'm doing now is what i'm doing today leading me toward that vision or leading me away or taking me away from the vision and just making sure that i'm taking action that in line with the vision which i have and not aligned with the current circumstances because it's easy to look at the circumstances and think okay this is not going as fast as, as i wish it would uh, or i'm not getting i'm not closing as much on my ads i'm not performing as much as they used to what's the point i just shut everything down let's contract but if you think okay how does the version of myself that has built this age your company will behave will she be fearful of creating content right now will she stop running ads because she's think that no one is no no one is buying of course no she's probably in very aggressive mode because she knows that now is the time to actually win market share and i think sometimes when we are faced with challenges and step back or just think that we or, or even curve not even step back we're like really curve balls as entrepreneur as business owner we sometimes just get overwhelmed with it and we think okay what's the point you know and reminding yourself, staying grounded in terms of, okay, what, why am I doing this? What's the bigger impact? What's the bigger purpose? And why did I even start in the first place, right? What was the vision initially when I launched this company? Typically, for most of us, when we launch, we come from a place of grit and running away from something. Okay, I, I want to make more so I can make the end meet. I want to fire my boss. I want to prove them wrong. I want to be able to be closer to my family and my kids. So, so I launched the business. We typically launch from, because we are running away from something. But as you achieve success and as you grow, you get to a place where you're like, okay, you know what? And now I'm content. I know I can do this. I've done it. I've hit a six figure payment. I've hit seven figure a year. I'm good. But now you are faced with challenges of, of, am I standing still and staying in this kind of safe zone i'm actually getting doing the the, the required action to get to the, the next level i might do i keep on showing up even though i feel like it's not working as well as it used to and what i found work the best for me is reminding myself of what's that future, future version, version of yourself how will she behave what will she do right and so just having a conversation okay think pretend that i'm speaking with that person and thinking okay what would you do 10 years ago you know and I just kind of download those that wisdom and think, okay, what will she do? How can I do that my future self? What can I do to that my future self is going to thank me for? And I take those actions, you know. So those are the three things which I'm investing in, focusing on, prioritizing to navigate these challenges. The fourth thing, which is kind of a bonus, is really health. Uh, really working out, eating healthy, going for a walk. <laughs> I've started uh, this challenge where I'm walking 17 I mean, 7,500 7, steps a day. So that's been really fun. It takes me about an hour to do so. And um, I think it's really good because whenever I do so, I feel, especially now, in, especially now in summer where, you know, the sun is out and the sky is blue and the birds are singing in the, in, in the farm, in the forest. It, I really love it, especially because I live in Frankfurt and I live in a really sweet spot where I have a lot of greenery in my neighborhood. So going for a walk always gives me so much peace and keeps me grounded just being in nature and so that's really helped me a lot besides you know working out more consistently just drinking gallon of water prioritizing my health really and taking care of what i eat those things really come into really come together to really help you keep a high level of energy and just keep moving forward keep striving and reminding yourself that this too shall pass you know um i know it's been it's been going on for about past 18 months or so but it's going to go away. It's going to, you know, it nothing stays in forever. And instead of just saying, okay, I'm just going to survive until 2025, I want to challenge you to say, how can I actually try? How can I ride this ride and come out of the, at the end of it winning, you know, come out of, at, at the end of it as a champion. That's really what I believe is required to win, to succeed in this uh, economy, doing more, 
being mind, taking care of yourself, prioritizing your health, your sanity, your mental health, and your physical health, but also staying true to your vision and taking action to you every single day to move closer to that version of you. That's just a badass, right? So that's all I got for you today. I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as I enjoyed making it. I let me know what you think about this format of episode where it's more raw and filtered and just like straight, giving it to you straight. Um, if you got value from this podcast, make sure to subscribe if it's not already the case. Leave us a review. That will mean the world to me. You know, leave us a review and let me know what you think about the podcast. If you have any ideas in terms of what we should cover next, drop me a DM on IG at Jolie Tematio or on LinkedIn at Jolie Tematio. That's where I am the most available. So thank you so much for tuning in. I'm going to catch you on the next one. Until then, take off yourself. Bye-bye. <laughs>